Hey gang and welcome to your 11th JavaScript and the DOM tutorial and in this video I'm going to explain how we can interact with forms. Okay then, so now we're getting pretty comfortable with events and reacting to those events. I think it's time we can move on to forms and reacting to submit events on forms. But before we do that, I just want to show you one little nifty trick to query the DOM to find the forms. So currently we have two on this app. We have this one at the top to search for books and this one at the bottom to add books. Now, a neat little way to grab those elements out of the DOM instead of querying the DOM by tag name or something like that is just to say document.forms. And this is going to return a HTML collection of those forms. You can see there's two here, search books and add book. And if we want to access a particular one, we can use square bracket notation and pass in the index, for example, zero. That's going to grab the first one or the way I prefer is to pass in the ID of the form, which I could say is add book as a string, and that is going to return that form for us. So it has to match up to the ID of the form. So now we know how to query the DOM for forms. Let's move over to the text editor so we can add in some functionality for adding a new book to the list. So then I'll come down here, make a comment called add books. And underneath what we're going to do is start to flesh out the functionality to add a new book to this list. So the first thing we want to do is add an event listener to the form. Now, if we take a look at the form over here, you can see it's an import and a button. And what happens when we click the button in a form is that the form itself emits a submit event. OK, so we want to listen for that submit event onto the form. And normally when this happens, we provide an action on this form which occurs. OK, now that's the default behavior of a form to fire this action and in most cases it's going to refresh your page if you don't have an action defined and you'll see that if i delete some of these and then click add it's going to just refresh the page right we don't want that to occur we want to prevent that default behavior and we've already seen how we can do that using e.prevent default so we'll attach an event to the form to listen for the submit event then we'll prevent the default behavior so the first thing we need to do is grab that form so i'm going to say const add form is equal to document dot forms and then in square brackets add hyphen book okay so i think that's the id of the form let's just make sure yep add book cool so now then what we can do is attach an event listener to this add form so we'll say add form dot add event listener and it's going to be a submit event so we'll Pass in submit right here and notice we attach the event to the form and not to the button itself it's the form that emits the event when we click the button okay so we're attaching this event and then we need to pass through a callback function which is going to fire and take through the event object as a parameter when we submit the form okay so what do we want to do first of all well we want to prevent that default behavior so i can say e dot prevent default and ideally you want to spell this correctly like so and that's going to prevent the default behavior then i want to grab the value of whatever a user types into this field so for example i could type in a lot of garbage here i want to grab the name of what the user types in so we can add it to this list later on so the way we do that is by using the value property so first of all we'll create a constant called value and we're going to set that equal to add form which is the form itself then we're going to perform a query selector method on that form so we're just searching within the confines of that form element and what we're looking for is an input of type equal to text okay here we have a look in the html we can see that the type of this input is text so this here is just a valid css selector we're looking for an input tag and if we want to look for the particular type of an input we can add that in square brackets right here just make sure you use the double quotations for this and the single quotations for this so they don't escape each other out okay the next thing we want to do is get the value of this input field so we'll say dot value this is the property we use to grab the value of an input field and what we can do is log that to the console so i'll say console dot log and we're going to log the value out so let's save this now 
and let's take a look over here in the console. So I'm just going to add a new book, which is called Q1984. I'm not going to click add just yet. In fact, I will, because that's what fires the event. And now we get this logged to the console. Cool. And it's preventing that default behavior of refreshing the, uh, the page. And we can see that if I delete some of these and add the book again, then we still get Q1984 and it doesn't refresh the page. Cool. So now we know how to attach a submit event listener to a form and then prevent the default action and then also get the value from any kind of input field that we want to. OK, so now we have that in the next tutorial. What we can do is start to create new elements and add those elements to the DOM right here in the actual list.